Hey, what is going on guys? Worst Trends here. And today we're doing a very easy video. And all right, today we're doing a really easy video. I'm gonna try to do as little editing as possible. So you're gonna see me um, unedited for the very first time ever. And as you can see, we have a new setting. I'm here in my basement. Uh, this is because I brought every single one of my Skylanders downstairs because I wanna play through all the games again. So I thought, why not make a video uh, showing off my whole collection? Uh, and this is because the FNAF video that I promised uh, at the end of the last video is uh, pretty big, so it's actually going to be a little bit till that comes out. Uh, I'm predicting Thursday it should come out, next Thursday. Um, so sorry I technically lied, but I think it's fine. It's only going to be a little bit. And most YouTubers only upload like once a month anyway, so I'm already like six videos in in just a month, so I think you guys are fine. But... Um, yeah, I've been a fan of Skylanders ever since Giants. Uh, I never played Spyro's Adventure, so... Um, I'll talk about that later. So let's just get started with it. Um, here we got all our magic right here. We got Spyro, Double Trouble, Voodoo, and Wrecking Ball. Now... All right, now there's, a, there's actually a very specific order of elements that I have. It goes magic, earth, fire, water, tech, undead, life, air, and then light and dark. And if you think the order goes any other way, you are simply wrong. I don't make the rules, I just enforce them. But after, after that, we got earth, got terrafin. I know it's actually pronounced terrafin, but I, that's how I pronounced it when I was a little kid, terrafin, and I don't care, I hate you. It's terrafin. Um, move those into frame. Bash, Prison Break, and Dino Ring. Um, Sunburn. Alright. Uh, if you didn't know, Sunburn is the only Skylander out of the original 32 that never got any other figure. No Series 2, no Light Cores, no Elite, and not even a variant. This, this is the only Sunburn figure at all, and it is the only original Skylander like that. And then we also have Igniter, Eruptor, and Flameslinger. Moving on to Water, we have Zap, Whamshell. This guy was fun to find, I, I'll tell you that. Slam Bam and Gilgrunt. Now, as I said before, I never actually played... Now, the thing is, I never actually played Spyro's Adventure. I actually came and uh, I actually started playing with Giants. So, that means, like, this guy right here, I only got, like, not too long ago, really, when I started collecting again. I'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, but, yeah, I started playing with Giants. So that way, I, like, I would see some Spyro's Adventures, like, boxes while at the store. Like, Voodoo, for example, like, his box. I had this one uh, when Skylanders Giants was out. And it was, like, the box said Skylanders Spyro's Adventure instead of Giants. So it was really crazy to me because, like, there was this elusive game that came before Giants. And I remember my friend played it, and he would tell me about it, and it was just crazy because there's this whole other game I knew nothing about. And, like, it was like a urban legend, kind of. Like, I, the only evidence I had of it existing was just the packaging on these Skylanders that I never kept and what my friend had to say. And also, of course, the green bases, except I'm colorblind, so I could barely even tell, so. Moving on to tech, we got Drobot, Drill Sergeant, kind of running out of room, uh, Trigger Happy, and Boomer. On dead we have Hex, Ghost Roaster, Chop Chop, and Cinder. And then life we have Stump Smash and uh see so yeah, I have started playing Spyro's Adventure and I have to say so far Stump Smash is the worst character to play as. He is so slow and his main attack, you know you sl he slams his fist down. So, like, you think, like, oh, it's a move that's meant to be mashed, right? So you can just spam it, and he goes, right? 
but no, because it's so slow that like you spam the button like six times, and by the time you're done, he's already he's only done his attack like three times. So you have to wait like another second for him to do the rest of his attack before you can do anything. And the actual hitbox of his attack is actually so small. So if he's here, enemy right here, or no, sorry, he's here, enemy's right in front of him, he hits like right here instead of right directly in front of him. So you can slam in front of him and do like this, and you just don't kill the enemy, and it sucks. And like his secondary ability, which is the freaking little ball, sucks. And his third ability is just basically the second ability, except it's called Mega Nut, which I guess is pretty hilarious, but I don't really care. Stump Smash sucks, and also he's really slow, so. Um, Stealth Elf, Camo, and Zook. This is the last figure I needed to complete the original 32 Skylanders. And uh, I got him. I like how he's Jamaican, I think it, he's got a pretty good voice. And then finally, moving on to air, we have Sonic Boom, Warnado, Lightning Rod, and Whirlwind. Shout out to my friend Anderson. He was the guy in the uh, U.S. State Ranked video. Uh, he really likes Whirlwind, so I don't know. I don't know why I mentioned that, but um, let's move on to the items real quick before we get to the variants and i have pretty much all the items i think i think the only item at all that i'm missing is the volcanic vault uh but i don't remember if that was spiral's adventure or giants i think it's giants though but basically uh i remember saw i saw it on ebay for ten dollars one day except i didn't have any money so i asked my dad to buy it for me and he wouldn't do it he wouldn't buy me volcanic vault and now for ten dollars okay and now on eBay, it's like 40 to 50 so, yeah. Um, Alright, well, we got treasure chest, the swords, the shield, potion, the hourglass, the dragonfly, I forgot the name of, the winged, winged boots, and the anvil. I don't think anyone actually uses the um, items at all, except for maybe the potion. But um, honestly, I'm not a wimp, so I won't use the items. Well, let's get on to the variants. And I have all of the regular variants for this game. Legendary Trigger Happy. Legendary Bash. Legendary Chop Chop. Legendary Spyro. And Dark Spyro. And I like them all. They're all pretty cool. It's actually nice how little variants there were for the first game. Like, I'm this is pretty much it. So it's just kind of nice that I have them all. I might be wrong, though. I don't remember every single variant off the top of my head. And then I also have the sidekicks. I have Gilrunt, Trigger Snappy, uh, Terabyte. Um, I'm missing Whisper Elf because they're expensive as heck. So that's annoying. Oh, I almost forgot. I also have all of the adventure packs, the Empire of Ice, Dark Light Crypt, uh, Dragon's Peak, and the... You know, I don't know what this one's called. Okay, you know, I'm, I'm willing to admit that I'm wrong sometimes, guys. It happens. And now let's move on to the chase variants I have. Um, I have seven, but technically only two. So I have Red Drill Sergeant, which I found for $4 at a used game store. In fact, um, you're going to think I'm obsessed with Skylanders and I spend tons of money on each one. But I really don't. I Pretty much all the Skylanders I've gotten uh, post-Imaginators, I've gone for like $5 or less just at my local game store. Because they just sell everything there. Like, this, like, I have two stores I go to all the time and this one was there. This one I got for like 3 or $4. And pretty much all of these here that I didn't already have were just really cheap. Like, Zook, I remember got him just looking in, like, a bin of Skylanders. Hex, I remember, I went to a uh, a used game store, like, that's, like, an hour away from my house. We're on, like, vacation one day, and we stopped by. And I walked out of that store an hour later with 22 Skylanders that I didn't have. And it was insane. I have never had a haul like that before in my life. It was crazy. Um, all right, next we have Green Gilgrunt. And this one's interesting because this is the Skylander that started it all. So I originally, you know, I collected Skylanders throughout the first 
uh, for all the games. But then after that, I just kind of stopped caring about Skylanders. I had like a small bookshelf that I had them all on. And it was only like during quarantine where I got really bored and I eventually started watching Skylanders collection videos. And I just started getting really interested in collecting again. And then uh, I got so excited about watching so many videos that I went on eBay and bought this Green Girl Grunt for $9. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but the eye is a little messed up on the side there. Um, but it's, it's pretty neat. So that's, this is important for starting my second wave of collecting. And then um, these next five Skylanders are technically Chase variants, but they really don't count because they are custom Skylanders I made. I should have put these back further. Um, I'm just going to move all these over. Okay, so first up is... Chrome Spyro. So, my my first goal was to get all of the Spyros. That was the only thing I wanted to do throughout collecting. But the thing is, Chrome Spyro is like $200. So, what I did is I got some Chrome paint and like an extra Spyro for like $2 at my local game store. And I painted them Chrome. Except, apparently the Chrome paint I used like sucked. So, it like the figure was like super sticky the entire time I had it. And every time I wanted to move it on my shelf, I had to like barely touch it on the sides and like place it down. And that was really annoying. So I used um, some polyurethane uh, spray paint on it. And that worked, it's not sticky anymore. But now it's like a really dull gray. Like before it was like super shiny chrome, looked just like the figure. But after I used the, um, the paint, now it's all like gray. It really looks more like a stone figure than anything else. So I guess that's what I'm gonna call it now is just stone spyro. But, and then next I have um, Winterized Eruptor. This one uh, it was actually inspired by the Rocky Roll uh, custom that Lexi from Skylanders Boy and Girl made. Where, like, he's walking, it's um, Rocky Roll ice cream. And I remember that, and, like, it was actually a really nice custom that she made. And, like, he, he was walking on the, the ball, Rocky Roll was, and his feet were, like, covered in the ice cream and I thought that was really looked really nice so I tried doing that with Eruptor didn't turn out the greatest um so I actually planned on taking a toothpick and having the white parts the white go trace through every single one of his like little veins but I soon realized that would have taken literally forever and would have been like pretty much impossible so I just didn't do it but it's fine and then finally we have Petrified Stump Smash which I am not going to talk about yet. I'll get to him in a little bit because he pairs well with a different custom I have. But, um, oh, the last two for Spyro's Adventure. So I'm going to tell you a story. So back in, I think, ninth grade, or at... so about two years ago, Somebody had printed out a bunch of crewmates, like a 3D printed crewmate, and just they were all over my school. Like, I'm talking like a hundred of them probably. And by the end of the day, I, had, I got my hands on two of them. And then later that week, I went to my local game store, bought two trigger happies, and glued them on. As you can see, we have custom crewmate and golden crewmate Skylanders. I'll bring them up to the camera. These guys are silly, I gotta say. So I just have these now, and they're funny. And the Trigger Happies were only like $3, so it wasn't even that big of a deal. And I've got two uh, funny guys. But that is it for Sparrow's Adventure, so uh, let's clear the table for Giants. Alright, so instead of starting with Element... So instead of starting with the element order, we're going to do something a little different. Because Giants was my first game, uh, it was actually, since Giants is my first game, it is my most nostalgic one. So we're going to start with some Skylanders that are very special to me. Spyro. Terrafin. Eruptor. Gilgrant. Trigger Happy. Prison Break. Chop Chop, Shroom Boom, 
hot dog, and wrecking ball. So, these guys here were, these are my favorite Skylanders of all time. Uh, you'll notice there's no one from the air element. Uh, but this is the order, if you were, if you notice, this is the order of the elements right here. My favorite is Spyro, Magic, Earth, Fire, Water, Tech, Earth, Undead, Life, and then Air, and then Light and Dark. So, I would like I would play with these as just regular toys all the time. And this was this was the cast. Sometimes these two wouldn't be included because they were, they were basically pets for uh, for Spyro and Eruptor. So um, they didn't usually do much. But these ones right here, I would have I had quite the storylines. I gotta say it got intense. The story these had like by the time Imaginators got out. I'm talking, like, Five Nights at Freddy's level of lore. It is insane. Like, um, maybe one day I can make a video about it. I've seen people do stuff like that before. I don't know if I will. It may be if I just really run out of ideas. Because it is a long story, and... Very... This is very nostalgic for me. I still remember the very first time I played with these guys. Man... Giants came out over 10 years ago. That is just insane. All right, well, uh, let's get on to the other ones. I'm going to take these back. And we can start over. So we're going to go with the Giants first. We have Ninjini. Um, Crash the Skylands. Uh, he pronounces her name Ninjini. And that really makes me mad, so I try not to watch his videos too often. I'm just joking. But, um, Crusher. Hothead. Um, despite being really cool, I always forget about him. Thump back. I, okay, this one right here. Um, me and my dad look for Thump back all the time because he was so cool. And, of course, we didn't know anything about waves at all, so, like, for the first, like, weeks uh first few weeks of giants being out uh we couldn't find th uh thump back but that was because his wave hadn't released yet but we didn't know that so we would look everywhere and that led us to thinking he was super rare so one day after um the wave came out we saw three thump backs and we bought all three of them and my dad um sold the other two on ebay looking back that's like kind of a scalper thing to do so i'm not very proud of that but um that wasn't my fault it was my dad Next up, we got Bouncer, who I absolutely hated as a kid. I thought he was so weak because his, like, balls would bounce in, like, the worst spots. I haven't played with him recently, so I don't know if he still holds up at all. Eyebrow, pretty cool. Tree Rex, I love going to my local game store and going to the Giants bin and it just being flooded with Tree Rexes. It is a joy to sift through. And then Swarm, also a very forgettable giant, even though he's, again, really cool. Uh, I think he's the only one with no variants at all, except Thumpback. I think Thumpback doesn't have any either. Hothead has a few chase variants, though. Uh, these are dusty. You know, come to think of it, I don't think I've played Giants or any game since they originally released. So, yeah, I have not... I mean, I've used these in future games but wow i have not played giants in over 10 years that is kind of crazy um all right let's move over to the core skylanders so in giants there were a there was a new skylander three series twos and a light core which um the roster kind of sucks but it's fine so we got pop fizz spyro double trouble and wrecking ball so, Pop Fizz is cool. I like Pop Fizz, but, um, really makes me mad how he slowly replaced Spyro over the years. Like, I get that they, they would want to be, like, their own thing after a while. Um, sorry, if you're hearing noises, my cats are playing in the background. Um, sorry. So, he would slowly replace them over the first, over, over the games. So, in, uh, Spyro's Adventure, Spyro was the main focus. He was the seller. And then in... Giants, their pop fizz is, re is released, but Spyro is still pretty important. Uh, Swap Force, though, they're of equal importance. They both get a new series, 
and they're both like equally kind of mediocre looking not gonna lie um and then trap team comes out pop fizz gets a series three but spyro is reduced to just a mini and then superchargers spyro is nowhere to be seen and then imaginators of course there were no other series or anything so that's just like, I've come to kind of like resent Pop Fizz a little bit because Spyro is my favorite. And also, uh, I had no idea that Spyro had games before it. It was just sheer coincidence. I saw the saw this guy at the at Toys R Us, just in the thing, like Purple Dragon. I thought he was cool. So uh, I do not like Spyro because I played the original Spyro games. I have not played those games. I had no idea that those things existed until like uh, Imaginator's time when the remakes got announced. I had no idea. So, yeah. But Pop Fizz is alright. I think he's pretty cool. Moving on to Earth. The new one, we got Flashwing, who's a cool character, but their figure kind of looks terrible. The way her mouth looks and just, like, it's really bored. It kind of looks bootleg, I'm not going to lie. Um, oh, yeah, also, have you seen, as you've seen, I don't have, like, her Pop Fizz... So I am missing some of the regular Skylanders from every game from here on out. Uh, that didn't last long. We got Terrafan, Prison Break, I talked about those guys. Bash. Series 2 Bash is interesting because it's a really cool figure. It's also pretty rare, so I was really happy when I found him. But also, um, one second... It's kind of weird, because Series 2 Bash looks so much smaller than Series 1. Like, Series 1 on the s compared to Series 2, like, he's so much bigger and thicker and larger than Series 2. Which is weird, like, they feel like they just scaled him down on this. Which I guess I could understand, but, like, even just looking at their heads side by side, it's kind of hard to get an angle here, I'm sorry. You can kind of tell that... Okay, my cats are just running down the stairs right now. What are they doing? Oh, my God. But, yeah, you can tell that their heads are just, like, clearly, like, different sizes. Just side by side like this, and their tails are different size. I'm sorry, I'm really bad at trying to hold this here, but... Yeah, I don't know. But you kind of get the picture. It's just kind of weird. Something I noticed... Okay. On to... Oh, wait. Yeah, sorry. I also have Lightcore Prison Break. I think there's two versions of him with different colored crystals. And um, when I got this guy, when I saw him, I thought he was really rare. So I was like, oh, my God, Dad, this is the super rare Prison Break that's, like, millions of dollars. And my dad was like, shut up. Because, like, the cashier was, like, right there. And my dad was scared that they'd raise the price on it. But they didn't. They heard me. But they didn't do anything about it because, obviously... Uh, cause it's a chain used game store, so they can't just chain the, change the prices willy nilly. But, uh, yeah. Moving on to Fire, we have Igniter. Oh, sorry, I was supposed to start with the new one, my bad. Hot Dog, Eruptor, Flame Slinger. Did I say Eruptor for Igniter? Whatever. Um, Marmar. Eruptor and then Light Core Eruptor. Um, uh, don't really have much to say about these guys. Just kind of just a group of Skylanders. And then for Water, we have... Also, I'd like to point out how uh, I got really lucky choosing my favorite Skylanders because uh, pretty much all of them except for Wrecking Ball Hot... Uh, Wrecking Ball... Hot Dog, Prison Break, and Shroom Boom got at least to Series 3. So that's just kind of... I guess I'm a normie. Are people still say that? Probably not. But whatever. It's just guess uh, kind of funny that happened that way. Uh, we got Chill, uh, Slam Bam, Gilgrunt, and Zap. Zap, I remember getting a f at a flea market alongside Fryno, which I'll talk about later. But um, that was kind of cool because they were selling a bunch of Skylanders. And I, and I don't remember what else what else they had, but um, it's probably tons of rare ones. 
But this was back when Skylanders was still going, so I didn't really care to look. I just bought the two. Um, chill is annoying because there's three chill figures. There's chill, lightcore chill, and blizzard chill. And they all look so similar. Like, blizzard chill you can kind of tell because um, her shield has like a face on it. So that's kind of how you remember. But with regular and lightcore, the only way I can remember to tell a difference is because... There is legendary light core chill, which for some reason is they made a legendary of the light core and not the regular. And then, so I can look at this and remember, okay, I have regular chill, but not light core chill. Also, I remember seeing something that there's like the different lip colors on chill is um, different rarity. I am colorblind, so I can't tell. Also, I don't remember which one's the rare one. Going on to tech, we've got Sprocket, the most hated Skylander in history. Somehow got a series two, I don't know how. We got Drill Sergeant, Trigger Happy, Drobot, and Drobot. Uh, Light Core Drobot is pretty lame, but Series 2 Drobot is really cool. It is Series 2 Drobot is really cool. It is one of the only like giant Series 2s that actually look like a clear evolution because like he's got the his tail going through the thing like this looks like he's got some crazy new abilities when most of them just look pretty much the same as the previous um yeah so series two drobot i was super happy when i finally uh, hunted him down and by hunting him down i mean i checked my local game store for a billionth time but you know, i still got it going to undead we have Fright Rider. I really want Halloween Fright Rider because he looks so cool. Chop Chop, Hex, Cinder, and Light Core Hex. The single most breakable Skylander in history. Which is interesting because I remember um, when I was looking through that I was telling you about earlier, I got the 22 Skylanders that one time. Uh, this was one of them and I saw one Light Core Hex that was broken. The arm was broken off. But then I found this one shortly after, so I was almost really disappointed, but I got it anyway. Moving on to life, I have an interesting story here. Shroom Boom. Stealth Elf. Zook. I got Series 2 Stump Smash right here. And uh, as you can see, I've got this little like pumpkin guy just sitting on his head. I just found this on the floor of my house one day. I think it was from like Halloween or something. Um, so that's why it's just on there for no reason, honestly. Then Light Core Shroom Boom. I have a story with this one. So I was at Walmart one day, and I usually don't shop at Walmart, but we went there and we went to the Skylanders section and saw Light Core Shroom Boom. The box was like completely shredded, torn up. Sold it for $2 because of that. And this wasn't in Giant Stays. This was like during Superchargers, this sold. And it was just sitting there for like three years in a destroyed box. And I got it for $2, which is a very similar story to something you'll see a little bit later on. But that is a super good deal. This is like, that was even, I think, cheaper than what it goes for um, on eBay nowadays. I don't know for sure, but... That was just really cool. Shout out to Walmart. It's one of the only things I like about them is that they'll sell you stuff if the box is destroyed. Like, the figure looks perfectly fine. It is pristine. You wouldn't even know. But since the box was, like, already, sh like, torn up and taped, it was sold for cheap. Now we got Jetvac, Whirlwind, Sonic Boom, Lightning Rod, and Light Core Jetvac. Um, so Whirlwind here is the honorary member of my little, um, crew I had earlier I was talking about. So if I ever, sometimes I would just have one of each element and I would just bring Whirlwind in just to have one. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it. All I have to say about the air element, it's probably one of my least favorites, which is why it's listed eight. And then moving on to the, I don't know, items we have... Dragonfire Cannon, which everyone and their dad has. The Golden Dragonfire Cannon, which only everyone's dad has. And then we got the Scorpion Striker, 
and the Platinum Treasure Chest. And it's interesting that this was Giants, because you know you have the regular Treasure Chest item from Sparrow's Adventure, and then you just have a variant of that in Giants, which is just kind of interesting. And I also have a... Uh, I, I forgot what its name was. What did I say two seconds ago when I was talking about this? Did I say Juggernaut? I might have said Juggernaut because um, I made a variant of the catapult that's supposed to look like the Juggernaut from BTD6. It's kind of... I think it looks all right. I mean, pre pretty much it's painted to black, the spikes silver, and then some red lines. It's not the craziest variant, but um, the base looks really clean. Terrible lighting. But, um... Wow, my freaking vents just turned off and I realized how loud they were the entire time. Oh my god, I just realized how distracting that was. Dude, no one's gonna watch this video because there's gonna be some stupid vent noise in the background the whole time. Why did I not turn the air off, dude? Oh my god. Well, for anyone still watching... I am 16 minutes into Giants alone, Jesus. Now I know I crashed the Skyline, split it up into six videos. That's why I'm doing no editing, all right? This is pretty much just gonna be one continuous clip. So uh, you'll probably see me earlier at the beginning when I flub the line and try to repeat it. Uh, that's just gonna be in there now. You're gonna probably see that. Well, what time is it right now? nine o'clock all right i've been doing this for like an hour now all right now we have our variants we have scarlet ninjini i'm running out of room again god why can't i not push him to the back um gnarly barkley and legendary bouncer legendary bouncer is interesting because i was on facebook marketplace hunting for skylanders and i saw one a legendary bouncer on there and I asked the seller if they would sell it to me, and they said yes. And then I never got back to them. I ended up buying just buying it later for completely separate. So they probably got their hopes up thinking they were going to sell something and did not. Um, okay. So Legendary Stealth Elf is probably the single most forgettable variant for me. Because it's just, I don't remember it. Like, I can remember pretty much every other variant. Uh, like, it... Like, there's a jet punk quiz. I do jet, jet punk sometimes, and just, like, name every Skylander variant. And I can usually do pretty well. But this one is just so forgettable. Legendary Stealth Elf. Like, it's just boring. But I also have Legendary Igniter, um, Slam Bam, and Jet Vac. And these three are interesting because I got them in a three-pack on Amazon. But I don't remember if that three-pack was legit at all. Uh... I got all three of them at once, ordered online. My dad saw it and uh, asked if he wanted me, wanted him to buy it for me. But uh, I don't know if that's a real thing, if that was legit at all, but... Uh. And we have Molten Hot Dog, put it over here. And Punch Pop Fizz, which are just really cool. I really love Molten Hot Dog especially. And I apparently paid uh, $9.95 for him, it says on the bottom there. Probably one of the more expensive Skylanders I bought, actually. It's just such a cool variant. Now moving on to the chase variants. So I already talked about legendary light court chill. Oh, I just realized you can't really see the dragonfire cannon. Can you? That's fine. But we also have pumpkin eyebrow, which is one of the coolest ones. I wish it showed up in game. Um. Then I also have. I have gold. All right, so there's gold flame slinger and there's golden flame slinger, and one of them is the one from Giants, and one of them is the one from Spiral's Adventure. I think this is gold flame slinger, and the one in Spiral's Adventure is golden flame slinger. I don't know why they'd make the same variant for the same Skylander, but whatever. Then we have Double Trouble 1.5, which is just a cool figure. And then there is Green Metallic Shroom Boom, who I bought from my friend and then later looked up. And I swear this thing was worth $150 and then like a month later dropped down to like 20 I don't know what happened. And then finally we have 
Glow in the Dark, Sonic Boom, and Cinder, which I both got at my local game store uh, by themselves. The Cinder looks terrible. It barely glows up, and it's got, like, scratches all over it. But it still counts toward the list. The Sonic Boom actually looks really good, though. And I have uh, my Skylanders, are, I usually keep them in my room. I have a big shelf. So in the middle of the night, um, if it's, like, pitch dark, and I look over to my right... I can just see Sonic Boom just glowing. This is kind of neat. I think that was my cats again. Alright, uh, speaking of Glow in the Dark though, I attempted to make a Glow in the Dark Eruptor with Glow in the Dark paint, but the paint like sucked. So it doesn't work. And I try to like paint in like the little mouth area, but it just looks kind of terrible. So, but, whatever. Um, my other customs for this, um, Chrome Spyro. Same story as the other one. It looks a little bit less like stone, though, this time. Then we have Paintball Jetvac. And this is the Jetvac, Jetvac I got in my starter pack all those years ago, along with Tree Rex and Cinder. And the thing is, I had it for a long time, one of, my three, one of the three oldest Skylanders I have, and then I got Legendary Jetpack, and I said, well, what do I need this thing for? So I just painted it terribly. Um, I later went on to try to repaint it, make it a little bit nicer, and it is better now, but it's still kind of bad looking. But finally, that leads to our last custom for this game, and the best custom I have ever made. This thing is awesome. Petrified Tree Rex. I'm going to pull this up to the camera because it deserves it, dude. I spent like three days working on this. And I used metallic paint. And I think the reason this one looks so good is because I actually made sure to replace each color. So Tree Rex has got like um, four main, three main colors, right? Well, he's got four. So he's got like that dark brown he's got the red on his little thing and then he's got hold on and then he's got like his other little accents like his head here and his shorts so what i did is i went through and i just replaced all the colors with these ones and it looks really good like i had the little stump areas be a lighter gray and the whole thing's like metallic and gray and the line lines look super nice like i am super proud of this thing because it looks so good it's a little dusty right now, but um, easily my favorite custom I've ever made. Sorry, you can't really see it, but uh, the camera probably isn't really doing it justice, especially since I have terrible lighting right now. But this thing looks super nice. You can just see how clean oh, man, the line work is there, like between his shorts and his actual back. But dude, I spent so much time on it, and I'm super proud of it. But that is Giants. So I guess we can move on to the next next game. All right, so something I didn't realize until I was putting everything together here, but uh, looking at like the main Skylanders, like not, not any variants or anything, just like the main like poster gang of it, I am only missing one. I am one Skylander away from completing the regular base Skylanders of Swap Force. That is Firebone Hot Dog. I have everything else. I have all of eight light cores. I have all uh, 16 series twos and whatever, all 16 cores and all 16 Swap Force. I'm just missing Firebone Hot Dog and I would have all of them. So let's just start here. We got Trap Shadow, Hoot Loop, Rubble Rouser, Doomstone, really cool. I have not played as him yet, but um, I'll talk about him in a minute here. Got uh, Fire Kraken, Blast Zone, Freeze Blade, Wash Buckler, Magna Charge, uh, Spy Rise, Night Shift, Rattle Shake. I'm gonna run out of room. Hold on. Okay. 
Let me shift all these down. All right, we have uh, Gorilla Drilla, Stink Bomb, and I don't have any room for both of these. Boom Jet and Free Ranger. Hold on. Oh yeah. So those are those are all the swappers. I got all 16. My latest one that I got was Doomstone just a little bit ago, and I got him alongside what I'll talk about in a second. All right, going with the magic. Here we got newcomers. We got Dune Bug. Can you see that? Ooh, almost could. Dune Bug. Star Strike. Super Gold Pop Fizz. That is very one of the most forgettable. Uh, Series 2 names, like any of the series. Megaram Spyro, and Light Core Star Strike. Next up we have Slobbertooth, Scorp, Hyper Beam Prism Break, Terrafin, Flashwing, or sorry, Light Core Flashwing. My bad. And then here is Smolderdash. For I know, got him along with the Zappet, the flea market I was talking about. A Lava Barf Eruptor, No Firebone Hot Dog, and Light Horse Smolderdash. It's really annoying how they made um, Smolderdash the Light Core because these two look basically the same. Like, I can barely ever remember. If it wasn't for, like, you can tell that the light's going to come from the back of the fire here, I would not be able to tell you which one was regular and which one was light core because they're just so similar. The only difference is that she has like a torch in this one. But um, you could like guess as the light core. Anyway, water we have Flipwreck, Punk Shock, Ingers Away Gilgrunt, Blizzard Chill, and Light Core Wham Shell. I really like how they did Light Core Wham Shell for this and uh, Light Core Warnado, which you'll see in a minute. Uh, I wish they did Light Cores more like that, like Light Core Smolder Dash, uh, Light Core Star Strike. Like, that's lame. Why do we need two variations of the same character that look basically the same? Like, wouldn't you have rather had, like, Light Core Double Trouble or, like, Light Core Igniter or something? Wouldn't that be so much cooler? Like, I really like uh, Light Core Wham Shell and Warnado, because, like, those characters don't have a Series 2, and it's nice to get, like, a second figure of them. But it's a little late now. Not doing any Light Cores anytime soon, so. All right, next up we got... Can you see that? Wind Up. Countdown. Big Bang Trigger Happy. Heavy Duty Sprocket. And Light Core Countdown. Going to Undead, we have Roller Brawl. Roller Brawl is cool, but um, Supercharger, it should have been Chop Chop. I mean, come on. Chop Chop is like, he's the Undead Skylander. It is a genuine shame that he was not a supercharger because it could have been so cool to see Chop Chop. I assume the reason they didn't do it is because they had Fiesta and he's already a skeleton. But like they could have, they could have done it. Chop Chop could have been a cool because like none of the superchargers have anything close to a sword. Closest one is probably like um, Tidal Wave Gilgrunt. So they could have done something like, I don't know, maybe just give him like a really massive sword. Or just like a sword that like shoots something like uh, the Master Sword or something. I don't know. Uh, but I just, I really like Chop Chop, so it's really sad that he didn't make it to Superchargers. But anyway, there is Grim Creeper, Phantom Cinder, Twin Blade Chop Chop, and Light Core Grim Creeper. Wait. Okay, this one's Grim Creeper, and this one's Light Core Grim Creeper. All right, moving on to life here. This couch is like creaking right now. Okay, 
we have Bumble Blast, Zulu, uh, Ninja Stealth Elf, and I was about to say that the Skylander broke and I had to glue her arm back on, but it just happened again. I dropped her on the ground and the arm broke off again. <sighs> okay, I'll do that later. Reminds me of my sprocket and torch whose arms also fell off. Had to get those replaced. Wait, hold on, did I ever replace torch? I did, okay. I tried fixing Sprocket for years with any super glue I could find. It never worked. I eventually just bought a new one. I don't remember where the old one is, now that I think about it. Oh. Uh, Thornhorn Camo and Light Core Bumble Blast. And then finally we got Air. We have Pop Thorn, which I think is pretty underrated. I like his design. And Scratch. Scratch along with Doomstone and Molten Hot Dog, I got all at the same store that had so many rare Skylanders. Like, I have so many Skylanders, I'm at the point where the only ones I'm missing are like super rare, and I'm not usually gonna find them in stores. But this store had so many ones I didn't have. It had Scratch, Doomstone, Molten Hot Dog. It had Jade Flashwing. Uh, what else did it have? I don't remember. It had like I think it had Dark uh, Turbocharged Donkey Kong too. There was quite a few in there that I didn't have, and it was crazy. It's been so long since I've seen a store like that. Uh, I didn't end up buying all of them because the owner was actually smart and priced them accordingly. So, um... Doomstone and Scratch here were actually $35 each, except I did not pay for them. The most I think I've ever paid for a Skylander is about $20, because um, my birthday was coming around, and I convinced my dad to buy these for me. And we are already 10 minutes into the recording for this section alone. I just realized no one's going to watch the entirety of this video. Because it is so long and probably so boring. So if you, man, if you're still watching this video right now, which is probably like, if you are, you're probably like one of zero right now. If you watch this video, if you prove that you watched the entirety of this video somehow, I will like and subscribe to you. Yeah. And if you react to this video, then I will, um... I don't know, I'll shout you out or something to 500 subscribers. I don't know, I'll just throw out that idea. I don't know, but if you do it, that'd be really cool, I guess. You'll be a true fan. We got, uh... Hornblast Rowland. Okay. Let's talk about Series 2 and 3 Jetpack. One's Full Blast and one's Turbo. So, you know, earlier when I said that I usually don't remember um, the names to all the variants, I lied because I can pretty much remember every single Skylander except for maybe a few of the Chase variants. I can remember pretty much any Skylander's name and all their variant names. But for some reason, Jetvac Series 1 and 2, I can never remember which one's Full Blast and which one's Turbo. And, like, the figures just look so similar, too. Like, I swear to God, he's got, like, the same exact gun in both the poses. The only difference is that one he's holding up and the other he's holding it out. I think, though, that this one's a turbo jet vac. Don't correct me if I'm wrong. And then, finally, we got Light Core Warnado, which I'm glad they brought him back. And they made his shell light up, which is really cool. Because, like, you think the tornado would light up, but it's his shell. And, like, looking at his shell... Like, you can barely see where the light comes from. Like, you really look. You can kind of see, like, where the slit is or where the light emits from. But it is really cool. This one's one of the best light cores because it doesn't look like a light core. And then you put it on the portal and the shell lights up. And it just looks really nice. All right. Let's go items real quick. 
We got the Sky Diamond. We have the Platinum Sheep, I think it's called. The... Okay, I don't remember the names of the items. Okay, I know I just said I remember all their names, but I'm talking about the Skylanders. Uh, who cares about the items? Like the freaking the phonograph, the hammer, uh, arcane crossbow. I do remember that because that was one of the last items I needed. Um, it was that tiki speaky, and I got those two. And now the only item I'm missing is volcanic vault, as I said before. Then we also have the cast iron something or whatever. I don't really care. I don't know what it does. And then we have the two adventure packs, which is the Tower of Time and the uh, Sheepwreck Islands, which I swear, as a kid, that is just the funniest thing in the world. Flynn turns into a sheep in that level, and it's just hilarious. Uh, but also, I have a Washbuckler McDonald's toy. I'm thinking about if I, I might buy a Washbuckler and then cut it off and put him on the base, just for fun. I don't know. But... I mean, I could buy a wash buckler for pretty cheap. They're always at my local game store, but I just haven't really done it yet. Because it's a lot of work. You gotta, and like wash buckler, that would suck. Because he's got so many different things there. Maybe I could use a freeze blade, but that's rare. Yeah, that would suck to cut off. Because you gotta heat it, and you have to cut off every part that's touching the base. Yeah. Um, Dark Stealth Elf. Uh, it was in a bin of Skylanders. I was sifting through, and I was thinking, like, oh, there's nothing new in here. I'm not finding anything. And I look at this uh, Stealth Elf, and, like, something's off about it, and I just brush it away. And then, like, a minute later, I'm like, wait a minute, those blades aren't supposed to be silver. And I look closer at it, and you can see the face and ears are silver. And then you look at the bottom here, um, whoever had this last posted the uh, sticker on the bottom to confirm it was Dark Stealth Elf. So that one, um, this one's a tricky Skylander to find when you're just looking through a bin, gotta say. And then Dark Slobbertooth. My very first Dark Skylander, I was on eBay one day just scrolling, like, back in, like, Trap Team days, I think, just for fun. And I saw it, and I would like, I thought Dark Skylanders were so rare, I just had to buy it. I think it was, like, $8. But it's really cool. I like them. Kind of crazy they chose Slobbertooth, though, out of all the options. I mean, I think um, Smolder Dash would have looked really cool as a Dark. Maybe Star Strike. Um, I don't know. Maybe Scratch would look pretty cool. Bumble Blast, I don't know. But um, anyway, we have, I guess we'll do all the darks together. We got Dark Mega Ram Spyro. Uh, you can tell my voice is starting to lose now because I've been talking for like, <laughs> like one and a half hours so far. So I'm gonna have to do the other three games tomorrow when my voice is a little better. It's almost like 10 o'clock at night right now. Um, alright, we also got Light Core, uh, Legendary Light Core Grim Creeper, Legendary Zulu, Legendary Night Shift, Legendary Free Ranger. Fun fact, I saw him in a bin once, just the top, and it was also chewed up by a dog. So, uh, thankfully though, I later found it on selling at a different store. Alright, we also have... Uh, Jelly Bumble Blast, Volcanic Lava Barf Eruptor, uh, Nitro Freeze Blade, Jade Fire Kraken, Quick Draw Rattle Shake, Enchanted Hoot Loop, which uh, I sometimes confuse with the regular version, because uh, the only difference is that one's gold and one's silver with the, like the little things here, and I had this one first. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this one's enchanted because it lines up with the enchanted Star Strike, which I don't have. But I do have Springtime Trigger Happy, and I was digging through a bin, and for a split second I thought this was the flocked version, and I almost had a heart attack. But it was not. Then finally, Kickoff Countdown. Back in 2013, uh, one of my friends was a big fan of Skylanders, and I bought this for him. And then years later, I eventually purchased it back from him. <laughs> and now I have it now. I remember I saw this at the store. I was buying presents for him. And I saw it's like, oh, he's a soccer ball. That's so cool. I wish I had this one. But it was the only one there. So I gave this to him. And then years later, he wanted to get rid of his Scanlers collection. And I ended up buying a lot of them from him. 
And this was one of them, so I got, finally got it after all these years. This is the exact one he had. And I just think that's cool. It's a neat little history of that one. And then that is it for the regular variants. And we can move on to the chase variants. And for once, I only have one real chase variant. And all of the others are customs. So I have seven, and six of them are customs. First, the real one is gold wash buckler. And for a little bit, I thought I got scammed when I bought this one because you, you can see, I'll try to show it good, but his eye on this side like looks messed up, just like his face, like how his eyes look. But I'm pretty sure that's just how it looks, and that's how other ones look. I'm not sure if you have a figure, I guess compare, and then like let me know in the comments if yours is like that. But uh, just looking at Google Images, I think they're all like that. Hopefully. Hopefully I didn't get scammed. Whatever, still counts to the count. And then we got some my two oldest customs here. We have Biohazard Blast Zone and Killer Wash Buckler. My sister actually did this one. Oh man, I didn't mean to do that. Next up, uh, these two are interesting. Candy Cane, uh, Fruit Candy Cane Scorp and Nuclear Bomb Trigger Happy. So these are actually the original versions I've had of these characters, and at five below, this was like during, um, I think, Imaginators or Superchargers time, at five below they had Swap Forest triple packs for $5 each, and, which is insane, because usually they're like $20, $25, and there were two packs, one of them had, one of them had Scorp and the other had uh, Trigger Happy here, but I already owned them. So I ended up buying duplicates of each one. And then on the car ride home, I was playing with all of them. And I realized, like, man, I'm attached to these characters now. So these are my originals. I ended up painting the originals because I got attached to my duplicate ones. Um, so those are just like paintball jetpack. That's kind of ruining the originals, but it's fine. And then finally, we have uh, Bombs Away. Uh, countdown and this was like my first like custom custom I was a f uh, when I made this one I was a super big fan of the Skylander dude I still am he's one of my favorite uh, Skylander youtubers but he makes like crazy customs where he like actually moves around the figures and stuff instead of just painting them so this one I took out a sure shot shroom boom and I put on the countdown so it's got the wrong base and on the back the actual slingshot part is like really messed up but from the front and like at a distance, it actually looks all right. So I think it's kind of cool. And then our last swap force one here is Twin Blade Chop, Silver Twin Blade Chop Chop. And this one's in a box because uh, I think it was at five below and I got this for $5. And then I went home and realized I already had Twin Blade Chop Chop. So instead of taking it back, I took it out of the box painted it, and then put it back in the box, except when I taped it up, I did like a horrible job, and you can clearly see that it's been resealed. It is not convincing in the slightest. Like, the back is like torn here. You can see like the glue residue, because I used just like regular Elmer's glue for it, which is stupid, but whatever. It's fine, I guess. But that is all of Swap... But that is all of Swap Force, so there we are halfway done, and this video is probably like an hour long by now. I've been talking about this for 20 minutes now, looking at the recording. So uh, I guess I'll clear the table and we can get ready for Trap Team. Nice. Alright, uh, see, I told you guys I had a cat. You guys thought I was lying. Yeah, here. So I got film. Oh. All right. Well, let's get started. Going with magic first. We got Enigma, Blaster Mind, Head Rush, Wallop. 
wildfire. Kaboom. Uh, when I got him, I got him used, and there is a water bottle cap lodged in the cannon, and I got to spend uh, about half an hour getting that out. That was fun. We got Lobstar. Snapshot. Jawbreaker. Gear Shift. Crypt King. Shout out to Crypt Crusher. Cool guy. Um, shortcut. And I'm running out of room again. Alright. We got Bushwhack. And then Tough Luck, which one of her blades is missing. But that's okay because I got this for $3 at my local game store. So, I mean, kind of sucks that it's missing one, but again, I got this for $3, so can't really complain too much. We got uh, Thunderbolt, probably one of the most forgettable and boring Skylanders ever. It's just the Thundercloud. Gusto. And then we have Nightlight and Nightmare. These guys, along with their adventure packs... I'm so glad to have gotten these. I was in, me and my dad were just shopping at, um, our, at a grocery store. We were just shopping, getting food and stuff, and we decided to glance by the uh, electronics aisle, and we saw both these packs there at once. And of course, there's two new elements. And even my dad said, this is cool, we gotta buy these. So that's how I got those. I got the traps, I'll show those in a minute. Um, I got these, and something interesting about Nightlight here is the oldest version of Worst Trends was a TikTok page that I had back in 2020 where I just posted whatever. And I had a series called Will It Hurt where I stepped on my Skylanders to find out what the most painful one was. And while I was stepping on Nightlight once, the sword broke off and I had to glue it back. I mean, it's pretty hard to tell that's actually broken. I did a, kind of a good job on that. But um, it is... It broke right off. I almost just killed myself doing that. Uh, I don't remember who won the series. I think it might have been the Tower of Time from Swap Force. Uh, I think it was either that or, like, Lava Lance Eruptor. Uh, I'm not sure. But that's some worst trends history for you. And uh, that TikTok page, I privated all the videos. And then I... Uh, deleted TikTok, which signed me out of the account, and now I cannot find a way to sign back in. And also, I cleared my uh, photo history, all my photos on my phone. So, uh, looks like we got some lost media on our hands here with the uh, Worst Trends TikTok page. You're not missing much, trust me. Okay. Back to the Skylanders. We have Fizzy Frenzy Pop Fizz, and we also got... Deja Vu, Cobra Cadabra, Spry, and Ninjini. And something about the uh, the Trap Team cores just don't like feel real. Like they're so like, such like an elusive group of Skylanders. Like even the ones I have just don't feel like they're Skylanders. Because they're so like rare, most of them are like super rare. And you can just never find them anywhere. So it just feels like these are like, crazy to find like they this one doesn't feel like a skylander when i hold this it's so weird i don't know why but anyway we got fist bump bop and terabyte on to fire we have torch hog wild fry now and small fry And for water, we got Tidal Wave Gilgrunt. I don't know why they didn't do a new series for Undead, Earth, and Tech. Uh, it was weird that they did that, but it kept it for water. Like, if you you think that it would be them stopping any character from getting a Series 4, but then they left Gilgrunt, so he got a Series 4. But then Terrafin, Chop Chop, and Trigger Happy didn't. It's just weird that they'd do that, like... But whatever, we have uh, Gilrunt and 
something. All right, then we have Chopper, Treadhead. Those two are really cool. I really like their designs. Trigger Snappy and Drobit. And then moving on to Undead here, um, we have Funny Bone. And then, uh, I guess I forgot to show off my uh, sidekicks from Giant, so we have sidekick uh, Ice Small here. Then we have Hijinx, Ice Small for Trap Team. And then I uh, painted, I got a second Ice Small, and I painted it to try to make it look like Pumpkin Ice Small. I think it looks all right. It's not terrible. I kind of got the design. I uh, can't really know if you can tell, but I think it looks pretty good. And then for life here, we got Sure Shot Shroom Boom. I was really happy when he got his uh, Series 2 in Trap Team because uh, Camo had a Series 2 in Swap Force for some reason. Food Fight. And then we have Barkley and then Sidekick Barkley. All right. And then we got... Full Blast Jet Vac, Blades, and then Power Punch Pet Vac. Alright. Now we got our little items here. We got the Piggy Bank no one uses, the Hand of Fate no one uses, the Legendary Hand of Fate no one uses, the Rocket Ram no one uses, and Tiki Speaky, which I use. And then for the other adventure packs, we have the Mirror of Mystery and Nightmare Express. This one has got to be probably my favorite adventure pack figure because it's actually pretty unique. It's got like the square base, so it's like on a real train track. I just think it looks pretty cool. Still have not played it, though. All right. On to variants, we got Legendary Deja Vu, and then we got Dark Food Fight, which is... um. That cat you saw earlier, earlier, that is his favorite Skylander. I know this because when I was taking them all off my shelf one day, uh, my cat came down and he sat down on the ground and he had his paw sitting on this one right here, so that's how I know it's his favorite. But then uh, we got... Then we got Love Potion Pop Fizz, and this one's interesting. So I was at a garage sale one day and they were selling Skylanders, except... They had the variants um, separated from the regular Skylanders, which is actually, it's pretty smart for them to do, even though sometimes the variants are cheaper, like with the Chompy Mage. But, um, so they had those separated. And, but the thing is, they're actually really stupid because they had Love Potion Pop Fizz as a regular Skylander and regular Fizzy Frenzy Pop Fizz as the variant. And I already had regular Fizzy Frenzy Pop Fizz so I got this one for cheaper than they thought. So I'm crazy, basically. We got Winterfest Lobstar, Nitro Head Rush, Legendary Jawbreaker, Dark Snapshot, Dark Wildfire, and Nitro Crypt King. And Nitro Crypt King is cool. I was at my local game store one day. And just as I was about to leave, I glanced at the counter and saw that he was just sitting there and someone had just brought him in and they hadn't put him back in the, uh, where they kept the Skylanders yet. So that was close. And I got this guy for epic $4 because they sell all their Skylanders at the same price. So I'm not sure how much he's actually worth, but um, very good deal, I think. And then, last thing for trap team, we have all of the traps. No, I don't really have many traps. In fact, there's only one trap I've gotten post-Imaginators. That's just because, um, you know, because no one bought the traps, really. And the people who did bought the traps are collectors and still have the traps. So it's kind of hard to find them, like, just, like, out in the wild. But, um, so yeah, it's just I don't really have very many. I don't know the names of all of them, because obviously, but we got... Attack right there. The water tiki and life hammer that everyone has. 
I love going through the trap uh, bin and just seeing hundreds of those. Undead. Earth. Air. And then this is the only one I've got in uh, Post Imaginators, another air one. We got fire. Magic. Light. And then two darks. And I believe the spider and the sword here are both very expensive. I think they're like up to $50 each. My cat's under the table right now. And then finally, I have Chaos Trap. Uh, I want the ultimate Chaos Trap, but this is not it, so. Well, that is it for Trap Team. So I guess we'll clear the table again, get ready for Superchargers. All right, superchargers. Now, uh, something interesting about superchargers is that I have never played the game. So yes, I am a huge Skylanders fan who has not played one third of all the games. So I'm trying to get through them now. But the thing is, uh, I just didn't get superchargers for Christmas like I usually do. I just never got it. So um, I continued buying Skylanders that I saw. So like I kept playing Trap Team, I think. So I kept buying Skylanders, even though I never played Superchargers. And then, uh, in Christmas time, when Imaginators came out the next year, uh, we were at, I think it was Black Friday, we were at Toys R Us, and we saw Superchargers starter pack for $15, when usually it should be like 70 which was insane, so we had to get it, of course. And I played through like one level, and I hated the driving sections, and I've not played it since. So, um, I'm gonna be getting to that. That is, I've heard the story for that game is, like, really good. So I'm playing through all the Skylanders games now. I'm just, uh, getting close to finishing Spyro's Adventure right now. So, and I'm going to play Superchargers last to finish the whole thing off. So I'll play Imaginator's fifth. But, um, yeah, I'll have to get to, I'll get to that later. So let's just start on this. We have Big Bubble Pot Fizz. We have Splat, Shark Shooter Terrafin, Smash Hit, Lava Lance Eruptor, Spitfire, also Hammer Slam Bowser, uh, Deep Dive Gilgrunt, Dive Clops. Double Dare Trigger Happy, High Volt, oh, I'm guessing in the wrong order, uh, Bone Bash Roller Brawl, alright, Bone ba well, Bone Bash Roller Brawl, cool figure and all, oh, this is breaking, cool figure and all, but like, it just should, it just should have been Chop Chop, that's all I have to say, it just should have been Chop Chop, Fiesta, Got Sure Shot, no, Super Shot Stealth Elf. Almost confused it with the Shroom Boom series, too. Um, Barrel Blast Donkey Kong, which I cannot play as because my dad refused to let me get Superchargers on the Wii U. Um, I had They had for PS4 and Wii U, and I begged him to let me get it for Wii U so that I could play with um, the Bowser and Donkey Kong, but he wouldn't let me do it. So I have the PS4 version, and I'll never get to play with these guys. That's, that's epic. Hurricane Jet Vac and Stormblade. And nice, they actually just fit in one straight line. Uh, the only one I'm missing is Thrillipede, which, if you know, he is quite expensive. Um, oh, and um, Astro Blast. But I also have Nightfall in the box. Uh, I also have... Stealth Stinger in the box, and I bought these two both at the same time, and it was like, I'm going to open them later, but I just never ended up opening them, so now I just have them in boxes. It's pretty neat. 
It's gonna block the view, so I'm just gonna put these like here, I guess. You can kind of see them. Okay. Um, let's do the vehicles before we get to the variants and stuff. Soda Skimmer. Splatter Splasher. Probably the lamest vehicle in toy form. I mean, you can play with all the other ones, but this one just kind of sucks to play with. Nothing moves on it. It doesn't even look that cool. You have... Oh, shoot. What is this thing called? Let's just say. It's made in China. Um, it's like the Shark Shredder or something. I don't know. Um, Thump Truck. Got Burn Cycle. Hot Streak. Uh, have you guys seen what the event exclusive Hot Streak looks like? It is so cool looking. I want that thing. That is one of the main things I want. It is that cool. Uh, we also have the Clown Cruiser. I kind of wish they just had it be the clown car. Like, just from, like, Mario and stuff. That would have been pretty cool, I think, if it was just the clown car. But I get it, I guess. But it's kind of lame. Because this one is probably one of the worst vehicles. Because it's just basically a stupid-looking plane with a face on it. I think if they just did a clown car, it would have looked a lot cooler. And then they could have done a variant that makes it look like the fire version for Mario Maker. But whatever. <clears throat> we have the Reef Ripper, Dive Bomb, oh my god, Shield Shredder, well I don't know what this is then, because they wouldn't put Shredder for two different things, whatever, uh, Gold Rusher, we have Crypt Cruiser, you get Crypt Cruiser, uh, Tomb Buggy, and then we have the Barrel Blaster, and Buzzwing here. Buzzwing is super cool. It is uh, the most recent Skylander I have gotten, and I understand why it's so expensive, because it is. Just, it looks really cool, and then it, you press a button, and then these come out, and they can move, like, up and down. I just think that's really cool. It is a really nice vehicle. Um... But yeah, I got this one for $20, and this one actually shipped from Germany, which I didn't realize until after I bought it. So I don't think there's anything different about it. Um, yeah, all the wording seems to be the same. But this is a German Buzzwing. Alright, we have the Sky Slicer. Oh, can you see that? Not. You see the buzzer? Yeah. All right. Sky Slicer. We have the. Oh shoot! What is this thing called? Um. Shoot. Jet Stream, I think. And then we have. Oh god. Um. The Sea Shadow, and I have the Dark Sea Shadow. But you'll notice the stupid little like hook or whatever on it is broken off. But that's okay because I got this for three dollars, so it doesn't matter. And then we have the Sunrunner and Legendary Sunrunner. Also, uh, Dark Sea Shadow kind of sucks because it is so similar looking to the other one. Like I know it's silver, but like you kind of just think like it's silver all along. I don't know. Um, we'll just get the variant vehicles out of the way real quick. We have the Dark Hot Streak. Oh, shoot, yeah. Uh, I don't know why I put these there, not with the other variants. Whatever, it's fine. We have the Nitro Stealth Stinger, which I really like. <clears throat> we have the Dark Barrel Blaster, which is super broken. It is missing, like, the lever thing that goes on here and then, like, the light in the front. But the thing is, um, me and my dad like to go on, like, road trips when we, uh, like, to go to video game stores and stuff. So we went to one. I got this for, like, $4. And the very next one we went to, same thing for 35 And it, it wasn't missing the things, uh, the $35 one. 
but I got this for $31 cheaper with the price that some of the things were broken, which you know what, that's fine. It still counts towards the list. It doesn't need to be in pristine condition. And like all the most recognizable parts are still there. So that's all that matters. And I also have, I don't even know what this is. I painted the clown cruiser because um, I just saw another one one day and I thought they were really rare, so I bought it. And then I just decided to paint it instead of selling it. And it looks pretty terrible, but it's because I didn't really care. I didn't really know what to do with it. Um, yeah, like a lot of the paint is like chipped on the front there. You probably can't tell. I don't feel like showing it to you, but whatever. And then going on to the items. The only items we have for this are the Chaos Trophy. I'm putting them up here. Chaos Trophy, uh, Wolfgang Trophy, Golden Queen Trophy, and the Money Bones Trophy, which I'm pretty sure is extremely rare. And I just had, I've had all of these uh, since before uh, Imaginators came out. Oh, also though, Hurricane Jetvac, Air Trophy, and his vehicle Jetstream. Uh, similar story to the Light Core Shroom Boom. I got all a triple pack at Walmart for like five bucks. I think it was actually three dollars because the packaging was destroyed. So I got triple pack with the Wolfgang trophy in it. Everything for just three dollars. Crazy buy. All right, we got Mistletoe Dive Clops, Legendary Astro Blast, Excited Thrillipede, Frightful Fiesta. These two I remember seeing right next to each other at Toys R Us, and I told, and that was when I was just figuring out that um, variants were, like, cool. So I was like, oh my god, dude, these are variants, we gotta buy them. And then we got them. Alright, and then we have Birthday Bash Big Bubble Pop Fizz, and Dark Super Shot Stealth Elf, and Dark Spitfire. His wing is broken off, one of his wings, but it's okay because it's the one in the back you can't really see. And I still got it for $3, so I don't care. Then we have two of my customs. This one was supposed to be like a dark, um, uh, freaking sharpshooter, sharkshooter terrafin. But it kind of sucks. It's fine, though. And then this one is actually pretty neat. Uh, I used bronze paint and just painted all over the Donkey Kong here. I actually, oh man, paint's peeling over here. Uh, I had actually used the chrome paint on him initially, like I did for the Spyros, except um, since he was on a lower part on the shelf, I was moving him more often, whereas the Spyros will always stay in the same spot since they go first on there. Uh, it's just the way I have my shelf. I don't really want to explain it. But I was moving him a lot more, so it means it would be like really sticky, so I was just like, screw it. And I painted him with the brown metallic paint I used for Petrified Tree Rex. I think it looks pretty neat. Uh, it kind of looks like the Bone Bash Roller Brawl variant. Um, and I believe that is all for Superchargers. So not the biggest roster, but I still haven't played the game, so it's fine. Alright, let's get on to the final game. Alright, final game of the video. If you're still watching, you are a trooper. All right. Mr. Cat. Piñata. Buckshot. Golden Queen. Tri-Tip. Barbella. Taekwon Crow. Ember. Wait a second. Oh. My bad. Grave Clobber. King Pen. King Pen. Tide Pool. Chain Reaction. Dr. Crankcase. Dr. Neo Cortex. Wolfgang. Chopscotch. Okay, I gotta talk about these. I was just gonna skip through, but, um, Wolfgang, I wanted 
Wolfgang's my favorite Doom Raider, so I was looking for him for a very long time. So I, you know, I still didn't know how Waves worked with the Skylander releases, so I looked and looked, I could never find him. One day he showed up, and I was so excited I bought him, even though the paint on this one is, like, terrible. I don't know if they're all like this, but, like, his brown goes on his spikes, and, like, just, like, his eyes. It just doesn't look very good. I, mean, I don't know if yours guys are like this, if you have Wolfgang, but... But I got so excited, I just bought it, and then, of course, the new Waves came out, and now you can find them everywhere. And then Chopscotch, I remember uh, Christmas Imaginators. I opened up Chopscotch before I opened up the starter pack, and it was just so cool, because then I got to know that I had a starter pack waiting for me in one of the boxes, so I was just want to... I had a really good time. I got a lot of Skylanders that day for Christmas, and I played with them the whole time. Remember, I was only 10 when Imaginators came out. I know it's the most recent game, but I was still only 10 years old, okay? I am not playing with these as an adult. I'm not an adult, never mind. And now my cat's uh, climbing around again. All right. Um, we got Boom Bloom, which is actually a really cool Imaginator. I really like Sensei, really cool Sensei. I really like her design. We got Crash Bandicoot. And we have... Oh, shoot, one second. We have one that all of you are going to be jealous of. And that one? Wild Storm. Yeah. I got him when, Imag when Imaginators was actually out. And I bought his pack because I thought he looked cool. That is the best decision I have ever made. Because he, this is my most expensive Skylander. He is worth like over hundreds of dollars, I think. And it is just a super cool looking figure. I have never seen the Robo Pack, and I'm glad I didn't, because I probably wouldn't have bought it, and then I would want to kill myself because I would have missed out on a Robo Pack. But I don't have Robo, so it's fine, I guess. I'll have to buy them one day for like $8 billion, but it happens. Boom, ba boom, Wildstorm, most expensive Skylander by a long shot. Next up is Blastertron. Who, all right, why would they make Blastertron have a sword? Like, seriously? He has Blast in the name, like, come on. Like, I get how they changed some of the other villains. Like, um, well, no, I guess they really didn't change any of the other villains. Yeah, so they just really did it for no reason, made him have a sword. Alright, uh, whatever. We got Hoodsicle and Starcast. Uh, I don't have Happy Birthday Ben Starcast. I oh, know, I'm sorry guys. But well, there's that. And then... Okay, we'll do the items next. So, I got a bunch of Creation Crystals. Uh, no one really cares about them though, so I'm just gonna put them here. We got Light, Earth, Magic, Water, Air, Fire, tech, air again, undead, and two lives. And then I also have an air creation crystal and then two darks still in the box. Same reasoning for the Stealth Stinger Nightfall. Alright, and then going on to the items. The actual items we have the I don't remember what this one's called all right I'll, I'm willing to admit I don't know what it's called it's the tree one with boom bloom and also I don't have the Griffin Park Observatory so I guess I lied it's volcanic vault and Griffin Park Observatory I'm sorry guys but we also have the bronze chest and silver chest I got these just from the mystery packs uh, when Imaginators was still out. And then I also have the gold chest I just bought later, and I got the platinum chest from the Wildstorm pack. And now that is all of the I Oh, wait, it's not all of the items. This is actually a pretty rare one right here. Ball of Tape. So when I was making my um, original Skylander shelf, Cat is running under the table right now. 
Um, I was making my original Skylanders shelf, and we used tape because we painted like the backs depending on what element it would be. So it was like a big, tall bookshelf, and each like shelving unit would be a different element. So, and I had this ball of tape, and I just kept it for some reason. I think I just left it in one of the bookshelves, and it just stayed there. And now it's just kind of funny to me. And I want to um, put this on a base, but I don't know what element sh it should be or like what game it should be from. I'll give you a closer look at it. It's got like paint and stuff on it. If you guys have any recommendations, um, I don't know why you care. Oh yeah, we'll go on to variants. I don't have any chase variants, but I do have one custom, kind of. So this is um, Disappointment Tri-Tip. I just named it just now. Uh, and that was because I ordered a legendary tri-tip off of eBay. And when I got it, it was not a legendary tri-tip. It was just regular tri-tip. So I painted it black to maybe make it look like a legendary tri-tip. And it didn't work because legendary tri-tip's red anyway. So I just had that. I couldn't get a refund on the eBay listing at all. So I just had to deal with it, I guess. But then here we got Jingle Bell Chomping Age. Mystical Bad Juju, and Dark Golden Queen, who I paid twenty ninety five for, which is probably the most expensive I have personally paid for a Skylander. And Mystical Bad Juju, I remember I always wanted to buy this one just at the store, but my dad wouldn't let me. He goes, no, maybe we should just wait a little bit to buy that one. Because unbeknownst to me, he had purchased it way earlier and has just kept it from me forever. And then just eventually one day, he just, like, gave it to me. I don't know why he did that, why he waited so long. Those are my cats. So, like, it was, like, a month after I said I wanted to buy Bad Juju. He's like, no, you should wait till you find the mystical version. And... What are they doing? Oh, my God, my cats are insane. All right, whatever. Um, we are actually not done yet, though. That is all of my senseis. But I still have four more Skylanders to show off, and those are Elites. Now I have Elite Trigger Happy, Elite Whirlwind, and Elite Slam Bam, all out of the packages. Uh, I got all of these at, got these two at a garage sale, I got him at a used game store. So, I mean, I would have rather have them in the box, but it's whatever. And then finally, one of my more recent ones, Elite Zook, still in the box, looks super nice. It's a little dirty, I should probably clean it, but um, yeah, it's Elite Zook in the box. I think it looks really cool. And I kind of want all of them in a box now because it looks so so cool. But I'm pretty sure I could, I could probably find the boxes just on eBay by themselves. You know what I mean? Yeah, I should probably do that. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I know there's like the outside covering that's got like the logo and stuff on it. I don't really care about that. I mean, if I get it, I get it, but I think this is perfectly fine. But, yeah. I actually keep this Elite Zook. Um, I would have kept it right here, but my dad put these, like, football helmet stuff here. So it goes here, and it's going to, like, stretch across. This is my American flag that fell down. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. I can't get this thing to stay up for the life of me. But there it is. That is every single Skylander I own. Wait a minute, no it's not. Hold on, give me one second, guys.
All right, I am back. And there are four more, but I only have three to show you. The first two are based off of my cats. And I made for my, I painted for my mom uh, back on Mother's Day, like way many moons ago. And there was one I actually painted for my dad. It was a hyvel I made to paint to look like him. But I don't know where it is right now. I don't know where he has it. But uh, this is Spry and Bop. Those are my two cats. And finally, this last one here should look pretty familiar. It is Heavy Metal Sprocket in the box, sadly resealed. This is the one I have on my desk that you see in every video. And I just realized this is going to be pretty much the only video on my channel that doesn't have my desk in it. So this is going to be probably the one recurring element besides me. Um, the thing is when I bought this, I bought it in the box on eBay, except when it shipped in, the entire back card was gone. It was like completely removed. So like the first two videos on my channel, uh, you can kind of tell I just have the back leaning against it. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. I don't know if you can actually see it in those videos, but I did glue it back, um, a little bit ago with some glue. And that is it. There are 591 total figures I need to collect. That includes regular Skylanders, Giants, Swap Force, Trap Masters, vehicles, items, senseis, creation crystals, minis, sidekicks, elites, everything. 591. I have 300. I think just about 300. Actually, let me check. Oh, wow. Um, since the last time I updated this, I have 377 out of 591, which is about 64% of everything. Oh my god. That is insane. Well. I guess, uh, thanks for watching, guys. And, um, I guess I'll clear this out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And give up, guys. There's not gonna be another game. Alright guys, so as you can see here, we got our, um, this is all of the Skylanders I need left. So I'm um, not counting any chase variants or anything, or uh, creation crystals, traps, any of that. Just regular Skylanders and all the in-game variants. This is all I need. There are 62 Skylanders here, and I was thinking, like, why not add one to my collection? So we got a wheel here that has all their names on it, and I'm willing to buy any single one that this lands on, except Shompy Mage and Robo, because obviously, I mean, look at these prices. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna spin this, and when it lands on one, I remove that. And then hopefully by the end, um, there'll be one left and I buy that one. And uh, I'm gonna try to keep track of all the Skylanders left, how many are left from each section, either from the cheap, uh, medium, and expensive sections. So it's a little more intense. So uh, let's just get started with this. Hold on a second. All right, we're good. Let's just do this. First one out, Jade Flashing, of course. That's one of one of my most wanted ones right now. Uh, hold on. Okay, hold on. How do I change the speed of the wheel? Hold on. Okay, pit boss. No one really cares about pit boss. 
How do I change this? Uh, yikes. I'll customize right here. Spin time. One second. All right. Let's go. All right, that is the last one I need for Spyro's Adventure besides Volcanic Ball. And one of my favorites. Another one I really like. All right. Okay, I don't care about that one. Okay, I'm getting rid of this confetti. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear, but it is very loud. Um, volume, zero. Man. Okay. And it didn't work, bro. What? No sound. Dude, how do I change the freaking after spin? Here we go. No sound. Do not launch confetti. All right. Are you raptor? Okay, I don't care. Like Corpop does. Also, do not care. No, that one's probably expensive anyway. Uh, no. All right, that's a relief. That is a relief right there. Um. Dang, that's actually a cool one, though. Ambush, all right. Breeze, thank you. That is the most expensive one on the list. All right. Now we just got to get rid of Royal Double Trouble, Blackout, Echo, all that. I'm nervous, guys. I don't want to have to buy a really expensive one right now. Polar Whirlwind, okay, that's fine. Flare Wolf, also fine. Golden Hot Streak, thank God. That one is expensive. All right. Don't care. Flint calling, also do not care. Airstrike, alright. Okay. Oh, high five, I like high five. Alright, let's shuffle it to, um, shuffle it, I guess. Dark Wolf Gang, alright, good, that's an expensive one. Rocky Roll, not that expensive, he's like $20. Legendary tri-tip. I'll probably just get scammed again. Astro Blast. Um, Alright, that's fine. Aurora, also fine. Power Blue Splat, okay. Power Blue Splatter Splasher, okay. Enchanted Light Core Star Strike. Ooh, okay, good. I really like this one, but it is pricey to say the least. Flip Wreck, alright, I don't, I don't care. Light Core Chill. Okay. Blackout. Good. Dark Turbo Charge, Donkey Kong, good. I called him Burial Blast, but Donkey Kong earlier, didn't I? Whisper Elf. Thrillipede, good. Excellent Eruptor, I could. Legendary Bone Bash, Roller Brawl. God, I'm nervous, dude. I'm so nervous right now. This is the cheapest one on the list, just get rid of that. Firebone Hot Dog, the last swapper, uh, swap force one I need. Hard boiled flare wolf. Okay, that's fine. Steel plated smash hit. Let's shuffle again. Echo. Good. My cat just ran. Ah! What the f? He just jumped on me, pierced her claws into my skin. Dude, get out of here. Oh my god, you guys are menaces. They never do this when I record. Why are they crazy today? Anyway, we got eight left. Gnarly Barkley, okay. Oh, dude, these are like kind of expensive. Bat spin, good, good. Okay, bat spin was how much? $30. Royal Double Trouble. Let's go. I think I'm okay with these. I'm, I'm okay with these ones left. Power blue, double deer, trigger happy. Where is he at? 35, even even better. Trailblazer, okay. Where's Trailblazer at? Where's Trailblazer? Trailblazer's only 15, really? 
thought they were more expensive than that. Nitro Magna Charge. Who was? Probably not that expensive. $20? Alright. And it comes down to this. Candy coated shop scotch was fifteen dollars, leaving me with legendary blades at an easy ten dollars. That's all I needed. That's perfect. That's perfect right now. Oh my! Let's go on eBay. I'm excited. Okay. We're gonna sort it from lowest first. Boom. Legendary Blades, 22? What? That's lowest, seriously? Okay, here we go. Oh my god. Why was this one? Did I sort it wrong? Shipping lower first. What? Why is it 22? Okay, um. I will get this one, I guess. <laughs> that actually terrified me for a second. Oh my god. Alright, it looks perfectly fine. Alright, um. Uh, so I need to get this video out, video out, but I will update you guys um, later when I get this. Very nice.